Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll show a way to create a cambered beam using the flex feature together with simulation. This image is one half of a cantilevered beam that has a torque and downward load on the free end. Various restraints are applied at the opposite end to simulate a pin reaction. And the symmetry or roller slider fixture is applied to the cut face. The desired low stiffness causes the end to deflect about 1.2 inches downward, as shown in this nonlinear simulation. The designer wishes to camber the beam upward such that the end load causes the beam to bend to a level or near horizontal shape. In this sketch, I've drawn two arcs to represent the deflection. This one represents the tip turning arc. It has a vertical dimension of 1.22 inches, which is the displacement result of the nonlinear analysis, but in the opposite direction. This arc represents the beam neutral axis. The arc is tangent to the horizontal at the fixed end, and the opposite end is tied to the tip turning arc endpoint. I added a straight line tangent to the arc and inserted a driven dimension to find out the angle to the horizontal. I also inserted a driven dimension for the radius of the arc. I can use this sketch as a guide for the flex feature. I'll exit the sketch and choose the command insert feature flex feature. The input dialog requests the body, and it defaults to be a bend. Now you can see the triad. The thing to note here is the bend axis. It's vertical and we want it horizontal, but lateral to the body. I'll select this blue arc, right click, and choose rotate 90 degrees. And you can hopefully see the new bend axis position. Now I'll locate the triad at the restrained end using these inputs. I'll firm up the rotation angles to set the triad exactly. So now I can manually flex the structure. I'll use this spin box and you can see the structure flexing. I'll put in the 20 degrees we measured on the sketch for the bend angle. Now I'll enter the bend radius, which is 20.1 inches. And you can see this is almost exactly the camber we want in the structure. So I'll take this model and run the nonlinear analysis to see what we get. Here's the mesh, fixtures, and loads. Here's the bent shape under full load. This animation shows the cambered beam under the same loads as before, but now you can see the full load causes the beam to bend to a near level condition. In this video, we showed a way to create a cambered beam using the flex feature and SOLIDWORKS simulation. 